Susie Says So in today's segment. Here's a letter from Marsha. Dear Susie, this will be my first holiday without my husband. We got a divorce earlier this year, and I'm just not sure how to spend the holiday by myself. I don't feel like I can intrude on my friends and their families, but I really don't want to be alone. What do you suggest I do? You are going to have to tough this one out, and it's hard to spend a special day by yourself, but I want you to think of the millions of people in the world that do it all the time. You can sign up to go serve a meal at the Salvation Army. You can get out of the house. You can go to a nursing home or a retirement home and do something for the people there. Go to their room, wish them a, a happy Thanksgiving. The point is, Marcia, you can get out of yourself and into somebody else. In other words, into their world. Because you don't need to be alo alone at home thinking of what you don't have, but rather rejoice in what you do have. I know the divorce was hard, but I bet you a hundred dollars that it, the marriage wasn't all that happy for you anyway. So you all split up. Next year, you don't have to live like you're single. You can invite married couples to your house for Thanksgiving. I spent a lot of years doing that. My good friends all had husbands. I didn't have anybody, but I'd invite them over for Thanksgiving, and I'd cook a full meal, or I'd have New Year's Eve at my house. You don't have to be with somebody else in order to live a good life, but you've got to get out of yourself right now on this holiday. You cry a lot, get up, cry, feel sorry for yourself, go through all of that, then put your makeup on, go drop by a nursing home or a retirement center and pretend one of those ladies there is your grandmother. I guarantee you, if you do that, life won't be as bad on that day for you. That's my advice. I hope you'll take it because it will mean that you'll have a better day. If you've got a question or need some advice, shoot me a letter at suzyktxdtv.com. Find me on Facebook at Susie Humphreys or tweet me at Susie Says So. We're back with more broadcasts right after this. And thank you, Marcia.